hello guys welcome to this video so in this video we'll be looking at one of the open source library which actually takes the screenshot of the whole web page and it can actually convert this into a png or jpg image file so the name of the library is html2 canvas library which is really famous if you just type this on google html2 canvas so the very first result which comes which this is their official documentation the website it takes the html and they you can even try this on online as well try it out so it is just we have the capture button so it will actually take the screenshot of the web page and now you can download this image as a png so you can see that everything that it contains the HTML, uh, website it has taken the screenshot of that website and exported as the image file so exactly we'll be doing the same process in this video as well we have this section right here we will take the screenshot of it if i click that button you will actually see now we can download this as a png image file so we will take an example of it all the source code that i will use in this video is given in the description so now to get started we will be using this library in the browser just make a simple index.html file and we will be giving a title to it of javascript html to canvas example and then we just need to paste the cdn link So you can grab it from their official website and also we are using Tailwind CSS for making the user interface of this application. So we also grab the CDN for that also. And then we will be giving a background gray, gray color. So these are all Tailwind classes. Then we'll make the in the center position. So MX auto padding eight container. Then we'll be having a simple heading which will simply say screenshot app. So essentially we are actually converting this HTML and we are taking the screenshot. So we can actually have a div tag. You can give it an ID of capture section. So whatever that you put inside this div, it will it will be taken as a screenshot. So we can have a heading here which will say hello world. We can even have a button as well, which will say download image. So we can even have an image as well. So if you see, we have this image present. You can give it a width and height. Then if you want to take the screenshot, what you will say. So right at the bottom here you will have a button which will say that uh, capture screenshot so you will be giving an uh, id to it of capture button so when we click that button so here after this we will be writing the javascript code so we will be referencing it in a separate file so script.js so we'll be referencing the button that we have given an id capture button so we'll be binding an on click listener to it so when we click that button we will be getting the reference of that capture section that we given so we need to take the screenshot of this section so you can pass you are passing the id here which you have given if you see capture section so this is actually the div that we need to take the screenshot and here we will be using the html to canvas library so we simply call html to canvas and then we pass the reference of the section in this case it is located in this variable capture section and then it ret returns a promise and here in this we have the canvas right here so we have this canvas returned now we can export this canvas as a image file so if you refresh now we have this uh, all this html and if i click this button of capture screenshot 
you will see in the inspect element this canvas tag will be returned width will be 1500 height 631 so now using this tag we can actually now to show the live preview of the image taken in the HTML just make sure that you have something which is a div an ID of preview container So here basically what we are doing right here we are having a simple h3 tag screenshot preview then we have a button of download image you can give it an id to it of download button and also here so we are given the id here of download button and a ID here preview container so here we will be targeting where we need to show this image which has been taken so we will target that container preview container we have given this uh, ID here of preview container after getting the reference of that element now we can also get the reference of the image tag in which we need to show the screenshot image and then here you will be saying preview container class list remove hidden so by default it will be hidden so if you see we also need to attach the hidden class so inside here class hidden so here we have added this hidden class so by default it will not be shown when we load the page but after we click the capture screenshot button then the screenshot will show so we are programmatically removing it using class list or remove hidden and then we the most important step we need to convert the canvas image to png image for doing this we will declare a variable of image data and then canvas contains a method which is to data url and here we'll be saying uh, we need to convert this into a image slash png image file and then preview image dot source will be equal to image data so it will actually this function to data url it is present in every browser and it actually converts the canvas to base64 code and it will have this inside this variable and then we'll be showing this base64 in the image tag So now if you see, if you click that capture screenshot button, so it is saying that cannot set properties of null, setting source, preview image, let me preview, screenshot preview, let me check if we have given an ID here, okay sorry, we do need to have the image tag as well. We need to give it an ID here of uh, screenshot preview. Just make sure that you have an image tag and have an ID here of screenshot preview. So now if you click the capture screenshot, you will see it will actually take the screenshot of this. And uh, now we can actually bind uh, a on click listener to the download image as well. So when we do click the download button this download button we click it we need to uh, download the image file so you can bind the on click listener to this so here we'll be creating a anchor tag link dot href will be the image data the file name let me choose result.png and link.click so that's all if you click this now it takes the screenshot download image if you check we have given this id here of download button
okay sorry we do need to move this code right in the function itself just after this step we need to write this in the function itself we are taking the screenshot this binding of this on click listener should be there in this function itself so if you click this download image you will see your it will be converted into a png file so now we can simply style this using tailwind css so that this application can be looking good so we can add the tailwind classes to so we can add this margin top 6 we can align it in the center position text center and then we can have uh, h3 tag text excel font semi bold margin bottom 4 and here we can make give it an id to this image mx auto we can give it a border to this image border gray so you can just see we are applying custom css using tailwind css and also to this download button background color let me change it to green px2 py2 rounded so now if you see uh, all the source code will be present in the description let me just paste the HTML which is required here so, uh, so at last it will look something like this so I just added those tailwind classes which is not part of this tutorial you can make this application without tailwind CSS as well just add your own custom CSS so now you will see it will if you click this button you will see the screenshot preview so the basic logic of this uh, we are using this library HTML to canvas which actually takes the screenshot of the DOM elements and convert this into a PNG image file so in this way you can do this process you can take any screenshot of any web page and actually export this into a PNG image file so this was the short little demo about HTML to canvas library so Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.